Thanks, Kate, for having me on the platform. Hello, everybody. My name is Madhu Kapoor, and I'm going to be talking to you about menopause. Surprise, surprise, because it is Awareness Month. So the first thing I want to say is it's fantastic that there are platforms that we can talk about menopause. And um, but I truly believe that menopause should be a conversation that we should be having regularly. I work with women. I work with employers. And, and I know a lot of people are just frightened of that word menopause and that's what we actually need to change. You know, we go through the menopause 365 days of the year. So why aren't we having these conversations? Knowledge and awareness is very important, not just for women, but actually the whole of society. And the reason being is because no matter who we are, male or female, we will know somebody that will be going through the menopause. So that's why it's imperative to actually get the word out and start making it a conversation and start getting people to feel comfortable about it. So my first tip would be not to ignore your menopause symptoms. The reason being is because a lot of us pre-menopause actually are probably very strong. We know that we can just, you know, learn to carry on through hurdles that we might face and actually get through life and actually when you end up going through you know a lot of people think that the menopause is just actually having hot flushes the thought of actually the period stop um you know stopping you just think wow can't wait for that day but some people go through the journey of menopause where it can actually be an upheaval for them so my advice would be get to know your body and once you know your body, you will start noticing changes. And when you notice those changes, it's you actually knowing that you can actually go and get help. So what I would say to you, if you're in your 20s, your 30s or your 40s, you know, don't think that you've got plenty of years to actually get a chance to read about it and know about it. Start learning about it early on because it's going to get you to be in a better situation and actually probably help others as well. I mean, all you're going to do is be better equipped. The second tip is the onus should not be on women to get the support. It's actually for the whole of society because they're going to be, um, you know, working with women or, you know, have family members. So it's an advantage for employers, for partners, for families, to actually know and increase their knowledge about menopause. I know that a lot of people tend to be frightened of the word menopause, and that's why the conversation needs to be on a regular basis to make people feel comfortable, because it's them that are actually going to benefit to make sure that life is still carrying on and you know um, they get to understand what the symptoms are, knowing why a person may have changed, and then understand what support they may be able to provide their loved ones or employee or colleagues or even friends. How they can do this is by attending workshops, reading information or just talk about it on a regular basis. The final tip that I would like to give is the fact that menopause is not one size that fits all. We all may have one trait, i.e. that is being a female, but it is important to understand that we can go through the menopause at any stage of our lives. Therefore, it's important not to stereotype and have assumptions. The other thing that we need to recognise is the fact that we can have more than one trait. It could be our age, our background, ethnicity, how we've been brought up, sexuality, um, any illnesses or disabilities that we may have. And that can actually impact a person's menopause journey so what I want to say is not to compare with other women when we're going through the menopause we will all have a different journey I am excited to say that I am due to publish my book next month it's called it's our menopause and it is actually to help women and support them through work so that they actually can balance their health and career it's got so many tips in there, so please do read it and I'd love to hear your views about it. Also, if you want to reach out to me, you can do through LinkedIn or through Instagram at M for Menopause. Thank you again for listening. Bye.